Hi, I'm Los Vogel Sharp. Today is July 26, 2019. And I received this poem this morning, so I'm going to read it. And I just want to let you know that the Father speaks in this poem, and then Jesus speaks in this poem. Peace be with you all, but I say most have not answered the call. You do not really believe you'll be here when the planet sheds her tears. The slain are crying out from the ground, and you all blend in with the crowd. Many tears of sorrow have been shed, and you all act like you're dead. You have silenced your voices for fear of attack, and nobody has picked up the slack. Oh, my love, oh, my love, it's time to stand up for righteousness and share my dove. If the world does not hear the message, they will perish in their sins, and then no one person will have any grins. You cannot see how vital your voices are, and they cannot be ignored. If you choose to stay hidden in the crowd, no one will talk out loud. Then the world will be left in a frenzy with all the evil that is taking plenty, plenty of souls into his hell, and we remain silent. We do not tell. We do not share the love of the Father, the Son, to one another. Fear has many of you bound, so you are not ringing the sound. The sound of the trumpet of encouragement your redemption is nigh, no more discouragement. You will see the crash of the century. Will you be ready? For all will be mentioning it. The shock will be sent around the world, and all humanity will be picked up in a swirl. A swirl of confusion and delusion, for no one will have been ready, except my people, who are constant and steady. You, my love, will walk through this with my blessings, and everyone else will have missed it. No one wants to hear my truth. They all want proof. If I gave you my word and I gave you my son, what more do you need to make us become one? You hear, but do not listen. My prophet has spoken and most are missing it. Why, oh why, must you all deny what is right in plain sight? You have missed this flight. You are not ready and now you will see that my spirit was correct and you're the one to regret. I pray when this happens, you will all stop the napping and wake up to this new era and embrace the next terror. Famine is on the rise, for the world is about to demise. I will destroy evil one way or the other, and you surely will become sister and brother. My love will never change, and you, my love, will have to be rearranged. Your thinking and your actions will become like my son, for you shall be one. So now it is time to shake the vine and see who has been molded in true love and who is bolden. Step up and speak out loud, yell into the crowd, and tell the world who I am, for I am that I am, and Yeshua is my name, and this is not a game. This is truth. I am the proof. So accept me today and do not delay. You are here, my people. Get ready for the steeple to tumble and the earth to rumble and the cities to fall like Sodom and Gomorrah. You will see my judgment hit the world and it will tumble. The thunder will clap. The rain will pour. My words are not to be ignored. Time is here. Do not fear. Use your faith and you will escape. I love you, but I must do what I have to do to wake up my few. The few who are mine, the rest are not part of the vine. Make your choice and use your voice. Stand up for the truth. Show the world the proof that you are the sons and the daughters of the Most High God. Stand up and rebuke all evil. It's time to change all this upheaval. I love you, Yeshua. That's what I got. It pretty much says what it says. I got that so fast. It was absolutely amazing. I think it's the fastest I've ever gotten a poem from God. It just was writing, 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 writing the words just, and they were just rhyming, 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 rhyming. Your mind, human mind can't even think that fast. So it's definitely from the spirit of God. And he's telling us we're still being too quiet. We're still too silent. We're not speaking out. We're not standing up for righteousness. We're not rebuking evil. These are the things that we're going to be doing. Because he's going to start moving in on us. He's going to zone in on his people and wake us up. He's going to use all the trials and the tribulations, the crash, everything, the volcanic things that are going on, the earthquakes, all these things that are happening, 
are meant to destroy evil and God is going to use that to wake up his people. <laughs> that just rhymed. That's what he does. He comes out with rhymes out of nowhere. So the thing is to pray. Keep your focus on the Lord. Don't go into panic when things happen. Let me tell you, and I just want to throw this out too. This crash that's going to happen, this is not the famine time frame. This is the tipping of the scales where things are going to become expensive, very expensive. Because the food, because of um, the floods and the things that have ruined the crops, food is going to become scarce. But this is not the time of famine. This is just a crash, an economic crash that's going to shake things up. And yeah, it might be hard to get food and get certain things you might want. It's going to be a time of a lot of chaos and a lot of struggle. And even those who have money are not going to be able to get the things that they want. Because businesses are going to go under. When the crash happens, things just fall apart. Because there's no money to do things. People, they, have to, they, they lose their jobs. Many lost their homes. It's just a time of upheaval. And God is telling us and many times over, this is because of, of the fact that we're not listening. We're killing babies. You can't do it. You can't be a murderer and get blessed by God. You just can't. The laws of our land have justified murder, outright murder, and other abominations, and I don't want to get into them all, because the main one on God's list is the abortions. It's murder. He's telling us, stop. He's telling those in authority to stop this abomination. It wouldn't be a big deal to get this overturned. Because it will be deemed unconstitutional. It's murder. We know it's murder. We can't escape from it. We can't say it's not. We can say women's rights. We can call it and label it anything we want. It's murder. And God is... His wrath is coming down on the earth because of that. And other things. So, get ready, church. We're not getting raptured out of this. The wrath is not meant for us. The wrath is meant to hit evil. But if we don't obey the Holy Spirit and get out of places where the earthquakes are, we will get caught in it too. We have to be very open to the move of the Spirit and what the Spirit is going to tell us to do and what the Spirit is going to tell us not to do. And we have to listen we have to listen to the true prophets who are speaking today because we are in this time frame. The 124 time frame, that's what it is. The 124 time frame means we're heading back to Eden because we are going back to the promised land with Jesus. We're going to get raptured out of here, meet him in the air, come back and put evil where it belongs, and we're going to rule and reign with him on the earth for the millennium. That's what we're going to do. And we will be with our Lord. So we're heading back to that. It's going to be a complete full circle. We're going to go back through the book of Acts again. And it's going to be greater the former rain. The latter rain is going to be greater than the former rain. Because this is the end of time. This is the end of the time frame where the devil has reigns on the earth. So we're going to, we're going to do a complete full circle back basically to the Garden of Eden with our Lord. And that's what 124 means. And that's what God gave me supernaturally when I left my body, when I was birthing my son, who is a millennium. All right? He's a millennial. Okay? The millenniums, they are the ones that are the blessed generation. Millennials and the millennium. They're the ones blessed. They're the generation that will not see death before the return of our Lord. Those of us who are older... If God spares and allows us to be here, we won't see death either. And we'll be blessed that way. But our generation is dying out, slowly but surely. Well, at least my generation. Those that are younger, you're still good to go. But, you know, God is using his people to speak his words of truth. And, you know, those that have been walking with the Lord a long time, and those have prophetic ministries and teaching ministries, they're out there getting the message out of Jesus and the truth. And coming against the, um, the doctrines of demons and all the false doctrines that are out there, that they're just not true. So, 
on Los Vogel Sharp, and this is a time to be doing serious praying. This is a time not to be hoarding all your material things. This is the time to get rid of the things that are unimportant to you and put your, your, your money together, your gold, your silver together because you're going to use it to build the safe havens. Everybody's going to want to go to a safe haven when things get bad, but they won't get built if we don't all pitch in to do it. It's like when they built the temple back in the days. What did they tell the people? Gather all your gold and all your silver and bring it. And they brought it to the feet of the disciples. They brought what they had and they put it together and they made places where people could stay and be together. That's what they did. It was the building of the temple when they did that too. They did it in the book of Acts. The people sold their lands. They sold their houses and they all lived in one mind and one accord in communities where they worshiped the Lord and, and, and spread the gospel message of Jesus. There was a lot of persecution and that's coming on the earth again. It's already here. So we will want to be in communities where we have the strength and numbers together, where God has divine protection over these places that he has singled out. There are places in the United States that are safe zones. And that's where he's building the safe havens. So those building safe havens, you need to be sure that God is telling you to do it. It's a grave undertaking. And every, every penny that comes in here, it's all into going into doing the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever we have to do to get the message out, that's where it goes. So God is building these places. We already have the land. The road is getting built. And we will be putting places to live on the property. But it all costs money. It doesn't go up in thin air out of nothingness. It's God's people that pitch in to do it. And most of you still think you're getting out in a rapture. So until you realize that things are going to go down the tubes and you're still going to be here, the only ones that are going to be on board are the post-tribbers. The rest of you are going to think you're out of here. And then you're going to be very, very, very upset when you don't go. Noah didn't leave the earth. Lot didn't leave the planet either. They left the places of evil. And God's going to move the people out of the cities, his people out of the cities, just to, like he did with Lot. And he's going to send you to the safe havens. That's what he's going to do. He's going to tell you to leave the earthquake zones when it's time, and you're going to get out of there and be led to the safe havens. Just like he did, and that's where we're going to be safe. I've had dreams of being in protective places, covered from the wind and everything. I've had dreams about it. So they're real. These places are real. And we are building one. So I'm Lois Vogel Sharp, and I will be back when he sends me back again and have a blessed day. And rebuke evil. Don't accept the devil's garbage. Rebuke it in Jesus' name. I love you and have a blessed day.